Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Godzilla Breaks here. i got a video today where I'll be doing a giveaway update here in a second and um, some bigger PC cards I got. Uh, very happy with uh, a few things I found. Um, two purchases on eBay and one from a card show this, this past weekend. But uh, before we get into that, uh, again, a giveaway update. Um, I'll actually pull this up on the screen here while I'm talking about it. Remember, the website is now officially live. Let me pull it up on the screen here. Here it is, www.snodzillabreaks.com. Um, you can find just about anything in here. It's just kind of your home screen. You know, these guys can play it around a little bit here. But to uh, actually get into the breaks, you go to shop. And in here is where we'll have all our stuff listed. Again, tomorrow night, uh, Panini Prism Collegiate Draft football comes out. Uh, just because it's pre-draft, uh, guys aren't on NFL teams yet. I'm just going to do personals and or packs. Um, see, right now I got personals listed at 105. Packs will be 25 bucks. Every pack comes with an auto. So, you know, if you compare it to like a break, you know, some breaks, most breaks on average here, 25 to 40 dollars. So, you're gonna at least get yourself an auto. So, if you're interested in that, come to the store. Go ahead and check it out. Again, always sign in here. Um, but you don't even have to sign in right away. You could just go and start buying, and then it'll have you sign in. But we are at about 60 people now. Once I get to 100, I will be doing giveaways. I will be putting stuff in here randomly. You'll come in here, and I might have, I don't know, a jersey, a mini helmet, a full-size helmet, card, something in here that just says $0, and you could get it. So stay tuned. Keep an eye out on there. Um, videos, again, if you um, didn't see the last video, it talks about the giveaways, way you could get into stuff. Uh, go check it out, the uh, previous video, like I said. Um, it'll tell you also how to go about uh, getting multiple entries, not just coming in here and creating an account. But and creating accounts is very simple. Again, it just sign in. It tells you to enter your email, and it sends you a link, and you're set up. Uh, but you could also do a video just showing people how to come in here and do that. So, again, that's what's going to be going on tonight. tomorrow. Uh, tonight, we actually do have a helmet break that uh, sold out, which is sweet. But, um, yeah, so with that being said, let me bump back here. Okay, so got a couple pickups, like I said, uh, two from eBay, one from the card show. My first thing I'm going to show here, I know I've had um, autos of his before. Um, but what's cool about this one is it's a little different because it's on a team that um, he didn't play for it very long. Um, well, Unfortunately, that his career didn't last a whole lot, lot longer after he uh, went on a couple teams. But uh, like I said, this is actually my third one of his. I got from Lumineers Baseball, Bo Jackson. This is five out of 15. This is actually him in his, uh, what was the California Angels at the time, um, as you can see there. Uh, very cool. I, I'm going to still try to get one of him in his Chicago White Sox uniform, and I still got to get one of, in, of him in his Raiders uniform. So I have an auto of him in his uh, Royals, now Angels. Um, I got to get, I've got an Auburn uh, uniform with an auto, and like I said, I got to get him now in his Raiders one. Uh, so Raiders and White Sox. So very cool, though. I got a nice deal on this. These uh, surprisingly are kind of expensive. Bo Jackson Autos still go for a decent amount of money. Um, but, yeah, very happy on card. So um, next, uh, I, I think I'm going to go with this one just because um, this isn't more of a PC. It's one that I wanted to have for my collection for quite some time now. Um, I caught a good deal on it at the card show. Um, it's actually the, the price tag that's on it isn't what I paid for it, but this is something I'm going to actually, uh, send in a PSA at, at some time. Uh, but I finally got myself my first Walter Payton, uh, rookie card, um, appears to be in pretty good shape. Um, I don't expect it to, to, to score high or anything with PSA, but I just want, um, you can see it, they had a, they had a price for a 100, but I, I got a little better price on it. Um, but I think it could get somewhere around a, a three or four I and, for what I paid, I wouldn't mind. I just want to get it slabbed. Uh, but very cool. Finally got myself a Walter Payton. I'd always been kind of eyeballing them and just, I don't know. This weekend, I just found one for the price I thought was good and uh, went with it. Um, and my last one here, this one is for the PC. Um, give, give, give a little background on this guy because uh, a lot of people outside, you know, the Cleveland area might not know much about him. I mean, anybody who knows, like, really hardcore football guys know. Um, but this guy... Had uh, he was on um, 
four championship teams. He played in nine Pro Bowls. He was a four-time uh, first-team All-Pro, two-time second-team All-Pro. He was actually a most valuable player one year. Um, he was on the All-Decade team, the NFL's 75th anniversary all-time team. Um, and he played two positions, which, you know, back then it wasn't uh, very uncommon. Um, but before I – he was actually an offensive tackle – and was also a kicker, and most of you guys will probably know by now, but uh, I got myself a 1954 Lou the Toe Groza PSA DNA certified uh, with a four. So very cool. I, I'm, I was very happy to get this. I, I thought I got a pretty good price on it. Um, yeah, he's a Hall of Famer, obviously. Um, like I said, if, if you're not really from the Cleveland area, and, you know, again, this, you know, obviously he, he goes back years and years and years ago. Uh, but uh, he had a hell of a NFL career, played football at Ohio State. Uh, you know, he's an Ohio kid, um, so very cool that uh, he played on the Cleveland Browns too. But you can also see that on the card there, they actually list him at tackle, but he was uh, one of the uh, better kickers, place kickers in the NFL. So very happy to get this. Um, still working on some older Cleveland Browns guys. Jim Brown is something I am working on that I would eventually like to get. Kind of surprised that this got a four too. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. A little little crease there, but uh, hell, if that got a four, my Walter Payton should get better. <laughs> but uh, very very happy with the pickups here. I actually have some other ones that um, aren't necessarily um, PC ones, but I, I don't know what I'll do with them. Uh, I'll, I'll show another video when I get those uh, coming up. I, I got one, some from uh, Sick Wicked Cards, uh, Mark at 79 Sports Breaks, uh, and then a couple eBay pickups. So I'll show those on actually another video. But uh, again, I'll be live tonight at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. We got a, a football helmet break, which is full already. Um, and then tomorrow, like I said, you guys can jump on the website. I will have the uh, Prism Collegiate Football tomorrow. Again, personals and or uh, packs. I have them both listed on there. But that's it for now. Um, see you guys later. If not, take care. And as always, keep ripping and hitting. We'll see you guys.